Hey YouTube, it's Pretty Dog Panda, and today I'm here doing my top five, that's right, five blushes. Okay, so all these blushes are readily available. I believe, I don't think any of them are discontinued to my knowledge. I still see them around. So yeah, um, I, it was just really important to me that I showed you guys my favorite blushes that are actually in stock and easily accessible. My last top 5 video of my top 5 favorite nude lipsticks, I'll link that down below, got a pretty decent response and it seems like you guys wanted to see more. So, you know, if you like something, you want more. So, today, the only one I can really sort out were my blushes. And here we go. So, let's start with the one I'm wearing, which is a new favorite, actually. I just got it. And it was, like, the perfect red blush. Sorry, my friend's having like a boy emergency. It will have to be the Milani Baked Blush in Red Vino, which looks like these. And oh my gosh, it is just the perfect red blush. It's on my cheeks right now. I don't have any contour or highlight going on so that you guys can kind of just see the true color of how it looks when applied on the cheeks. And it is amazing. I really love this blush. Um, I apply most of my blushes with the MAC 116 brush. And sometimes when that's too dirty, I use my 168, which is this angled one. And that's pretty much all I use when it comes to blush. Yeah, just want to throw that out there. Anyway, this blush is just, it slays. Okay, I'm going to swatch it on my pinky. I'm going to get this started. It's super pigmented. So if you're lighter than me, use a light hand. Even I can get a little carried away, but I like really heavy blush I'm not gonna lie and that's how it swatches and that's a heavy swatch guys so I mean on my cheeks the way it applies it's just a really nice red if you want a stronger like red blush if red blush isn't your thing you might not like this but if red blush is your thing and you're just looking for a red blush this is a great one and it's about 1049 but it's in the drugstore and there's usually like some sort of deal going on so wait till the deal comes up before you purchase this at least it was 10.49 in Manhattan. It could be cheaper where you are. Just keep that in mind. Next, keeping at drugstore, two of my favorites at drugstore, is Wet n Wild Heather Silk, and it's just this beautiful bright pink. I mean, okay, this is similar to I'd say Cabana Boy by The Bomb, but not really. It kind of is like this is what I thought. Cabana Boy would be more like, I thought it would be more like this, but Cabana Boy can look ashy on me and that kind of surprised me because no one wants an ashy, no one wants ashy blush and it was, it was lighter than I expected. So I'm probably going to like slide that over to my kit. It's a beautiful blush. Anyway, this is Heather Silk and it's this pink and it's really pretty and I think it's showing up more pink than it actually is, but I'm just going to give this a swatch. Yeah the pink and we're gonna swatch it right next to the red and it's a dusty rosy pink it's really really pretty this is also a heavy swatch if you're lighter than me use a lighter hand I like heavy blush and I have videos where I've used this so I'll try to link some of them down below but yeah this is an awesome pink blush and if you're in the market for a pink blush you can't go wrong these are like $2.99, $3.99 from Wet n Wild. And they're pretty darn pigmented. Like, can't go wrong. Okay, we're gonna move into my mid end, which are my MAC. Okay, so first, I think this is a staple for a lot of women of color on YouTube, and that is Raisin by MAC. I think, like, everyone has this, and it's a cult favorite for us women of color that like our MAC. Super pigmented. MAC blush is super pigmented. And it's like a round red. It's like a browned red. And it's like right there in the middle. So it's a very natural blush, but it it just enhances your cheeks a little bit more. Like this is a red. This is definitely a red blush. When I blush, I turn somewhere in between this color and the way this color applies. And when I actually blush, I've actually seen myself blush exactly one time, and that's about the color I turn. So I really like this blush because it's super natural if you want that really natural look. And if not, 
it's just a really good blush to just have on deck, I'd say. Next is another cult favorite, which is very similar to Raisin, and this is Ambering Rose by MAC. Now let me just hold them side by side so you guys can see. Okay, so, eh. Can it open? Okay. Raisin is a matte blush, while Ambering Rose is a sheer tone shimmer blush. So it applies a little bit sheerer, and obviously there's some tone differences. Like this one's more reddish, and there's that gold shimmer in there. And I'm just going to swatch it for you guys. Mind you, these are all very heavy swatches. And it's that shimmery one on the side right there. It's a little lighter than Raisin, but it's also but that's also because it's sheer. It's also redder, and I tend to go for this when I really want that glowing look in the summer. Or I'll layer them over the summer because I just think that these two look amazing alone. And to get, I think I prefer this one in combination, but I prefer this one alone. Does that make sense? I, I hope that makes some sense. And last, but certainly not least, because it's my most expensive blush. Not period, but definitely my most expensive, one of the most expensive ones I've bought. And this is Dulce Vita by NARS. And I I am amazed by how this is showing on my camera. This looks like barrier than I'd say it shows up. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And it's a really pretty pinky berry color. But... Um, uh, the way I'd describe it is like a combination between Raisin and Heather Silk from Wet n Wild. I just, it's just perfect. Like, let me swatch this for you on my thumb, on my thumb. So, I'm just gonna swatch. This is a heavy swatch, guys. It's super pigmented. You have to be, I have to be careful with this blush. Okay, so it's like this pinkish color. I'm just gonna put it right over here next to Amber and Rose. Yeah, yeah, that color is kind of intense. That color is pretty darn intense. So yeah. Now these are all very different blushes, but these are my top five favorites. And I just want to throw a little bonus in here. This one's no longer available from MAC, but this is my first MAC blush, and it is Love Rush. And you can see I'm getting that dip in there. I'm kind of scared to run out of it. It is a very beautiful berry plum color. And the reason I got this um my first blush from drugstore was l'oreal like the c8 blush like i don't actually remember the name of it i think i still have it actually i don't use it though um yeah this isn't it okay maybe i don't have it whatever it was like a really pretty berry color and had some shimmer in it and i wanted one that was matte but about that color and this was about the same color but darker and it was just so amazing to me and plummy and beautiful and let me just swatch it so swatches can do the talking if you can get your hands on this cause you could probably find it on amazon or on ebay because it was discontinued but yeah it's the color it's really pretty and i really like pulling this out in the fall but it's no longer available and i just need to share this with you guys because i it's one of my favorites i don't want to hold back but yeah so that's it for my top five favorite blushes. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see. Let me know your top favorite blushes so that I can pick up a few new favorites because these are great, but there are probably so many others that I haven't tried. So um, sure, just like let, let me know down below. I'm leaving a lot of things down there anyway, so check out that description box. There are a lot of stuff in there. And until next time, stay beautiful inside and out. Bye!